But I stop by to tell you, God is not missing. Come on. Amen. Not only is our God not missing, Jesus is not dead. Amen. But sometimes we act like Jesus right. is dead. We act like we don't have no hope. We act like it's all over. We act like it's time to throw a towel. We act like, well, it's so bad. I can't go to church. I can't worship. I can't praise. I can't give. I can't do nothing because of. Well. <laughs> we act in sin. Jesus is dead. All right. Yeah, you got some dead churches. Yeah. You got some dead choirs. All right. You even got some dead preachers. All right. uh, sometimes it may seem like uh, uh, the church is dead, but be glad she's not missing. Amen. All right. Amen. All right. Right. It might seem like it's dead. It might seem like God's not around sometimes, but I'm here to tell you God is not missing and Jesus is not dead. It may mm -hmm. seem like it's sometimes oh, that stuff is dead, but usually it's not the stuff that is dead. Oh, All right. Usually it's not the church. It's not the choir. It's not the preaching. It's dead. Some guy a little bit close to the home. I smell it. Uh, it may seem like it, but the church is not missing. Uh, at least you got some place to go. And these women expected to see a dead Jesus and ended up finding an empty tomb. Someone today like these women can't see Jesus because they see only empty tombs. Mm. They see the emptiness. We see the emptiness in our life. We see the emptiness in a situation. We see hopelessness. And, and we, see, we, we think that, 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 that it's just an empty situation. I, it's so hollow that I can hear the echo, echo, echo as I talk to myself in my mind. It, it, it just seems like that sometimes. Uh, we can't see because that's all we see is the empty tomb. They, it's an empty tomb. They have no mother. The uh, daddy's gone. The bank account is empty. The cupboards are bad, but the angels reply. The messenger of God always stops by to say, fear not. Yeah. Fear, not. fear not. Fear not. For he is risen. Fear not uh, because there's always a way out of no way. Fear not because God can always uh, work a miracle in your life. Fear not because whatever you stand in need of, God has it standing by. All you got to do is reach out in faith. Yeah. And God can minister to your situation. Yeah. Fear not. Fear not. Uh, just like uh, these women, some uh, women come looking for a man. Uh, you get to the place where the man is supposed to be, and what do you find? An empty tomb. Right. But the message of God would still reply, fear not. All right. Somebody else is afraid to go to sleep at night because the house is empty. Amen. Somebody else is afraid to ride an airplane for fear of it becoming a missile. Amen. Someone else is afraid uh, uh, for a loved one or for a friend across the sea in the desert lands. But the message of God will stop by and still reply, fear not. All right. For he is risen. Yeah. Not only uh, is Jesus not in the tomb. But God's presence is no longer resting on the mercy seat behind the veil in the Holy of Holies. These women find themselves gazing into an empty tomb. What they expected to see was not there. Just three days ago on Friday, Jesus had cried out, it is finished. God Almighty closed his eyes and the sun refused to shine. God groaned and the earth did quake and the presence of God left the mercy seat. Rip the veil of the temple in twain from top to the bottom. Not so God could get out, but so man could get in. Oh, oh. God says, I don't need blood sprinkled on the mercy seat. I don't longer need the blood of a lamb because we just shed the blood of the lamb. He paid redemption's price. Fear not, for I know that you see Jesus, who was crucified. I know you're looking for him. I know you came to honor him. I know you came to pay respect on this first day All right. of the week, a new day. These women whose custom was to make sure he had a proper funeral had come out of formality. They came out expecting to see a dead Jesus, but Jesus was not dead. Amen. And he was not missing. Amen. Jesus is not dead. To it. He's not dead today either. Amen. He's not dead today either, nor is he missing. Matthew states in verse 6, and I quote, For he is risen. He is not here. He is risen. As he said, he is risen means he has been elevated. He has been lifted above his enemy. Uh, I believe the Spirit just spoke through the, the, the deacon and said, 
thou preparest a table for me in the presence of my enemies. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Y'all got excited. Y'all was in on the mys, mys, and knees. And, and, and see, what I'm trying to get you to understand, the Spirit has said, look, Jesus is not dead. God is not missing. He has risen. He has been elevated above the enemy, which is flesh. Death stinger has been removed. Jesus has lifted the keys from the grave and liberated hell. His ascension means deflation uh, to the devil. He is risen. He is high and lifted up. He is exalted and above every name. Uh, he is now king of kings. He is now presiding over presidents. He now governs governors. He dictates to dictators. Jesus cries from an empty tomb, I am the only man to raise himself from the dead. Uh, Buddha didn't do that. And Muhammad didn't do that. Confucius didn't do that. Jesus is not dead. Amen. And he is not missing. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. He's the first thing I see when I get up and the last thing I'm going to see when I check up. He's the beginning. He's the Alpha and the Omega. Those who put their trust in Jesus need to fear nothing. See, if you got your trust in Jesus, you really shouldn't fear nothing. I like think what? <laughs> what? That's what you need to start saying to you. Next time, next time uh, you see a spider, just say, what? <laughs> In the name of Jesus. <laughs> what? You know, we get really, you know, as believe, we should be some of the most, we should be crazy on fire for the Lord. Right. After all that, what he has done for us. Yeah. You know, we, we, we Come on, Come on, you know, we walk around like the world's coming to an end. Amen. Watch this. It is coming to an end. It's in the book. We know it's coming to an end. Fear not. For he has risen. Those who put their trust in him have nothing to fear. Those who belong to him have no one to fear. Amen. Amen. Why, why, why are you going to be afraid of somebody when Jesus is your elder brother? All right. All right. God is your daddy. Right. He's your father. Yeah. What? <laughs> my dad, somebody mess with me. I'm going to tell my dad. I'm going to tell my dad. And your dad old. And your dad almost 70. No, my dad a lot older than that. See? I'm not talking about my earthly All father. Right. I'm talking about my heavenly All father. All right. All right. All right. I'm talking about a fella that can just think and yeah, you have problems. Yeah. <laughs> All you gotta do is think about it and create problems for you. <laughs> Those who belong to him have no one to fear. Those who believe in him. Here we go. Here we go. See, see. If you put your trust in him, you have nothing to fear. If you belong to him, you have no one to fear. Uh, but if you have your faith, if you believe in him all the way, uh, you can go anywhere, Amen. anytime, yeah. anyhow. Yeah. You can go by spaceship, by plane, by train, by bus, by car. You can go by ship, by boat, or donkey. <laughs> <laughs> because God's messenger still replies, fear not. Amen. He is not here. He is risen. You see, just some simple things that we do in the Christian church. Mm -hmm. We don't wear a crucifix. Mm -hmm. 